Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are connected with Jay here, and um, he is the host of the Atlanta Victinis. If you want to check him out, be sure to check him out. Actually, just check him out, okay? He'll be right here, and uh, link below if I forget to put him right here. Um, okay, I select my team here. <laughs> God, I'm nervous. Uh, I can win this. We it puts us at a three-way tie for first. Uh, going into the mid-season so that would be incredible um <laughs> nervous dude nervous oh my god okay let's do it uh we're about to see his his team uh well fish he brings the darmanitan that's that's a yikes uh he doesn't bring the freaking uh t -tar. that's incredible that's incredible for us there's no run washer either and other than that we kind of predicted him pretty well uh okay um let's uh, get rid of roton and Terminator. and you you and you okay uh yeah we predicted him pretty well just two pokemon um his lead probably the quillfish uh or the frostmoth uh what do i got for the quillfish right now uh probably just nessie uh i'm gonna lead off skin Uh, no, I don't really want to reveal that. No, I got to. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to think it out. Okay. <laughs> don't have time to think it out. <laughs> uh, he could be expecting the Toxic lead. He may not. Uh, he may get something different. We'll just have to see. I don't want to reveal right off the bat that we're defiant. That we're, okay. Okay. And we're revealing it right off the bat. And here we go. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what he's thinking about that. I can't wait to see what he's thinking about that. We just go for Thunder Punch. Nothing wants to take a Thunder Punch. All right, that eat it pretty well. Uh, we get thunder waved, uh, which kind of hurts, but as long as we don't take any damage, we're we're still okay. We're still okay. We don't want to take any damage because we want to be able to take out that Gengar if we need to. He does set up the uh, layer of spikes. It's not the end of the world. Definitely not the best thing in the world, but not the end of the world. Uh, but that takes care of the quillfish, which is nice, really nice actually. Uh, what does he go into at this point? Um, Hydreigon or Gengar? Andrew? Oh, he goes into oh, yo, if we can take this thing out with a close combat, yeah, I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. He's probably a uh, choice scarf. Or he could be, yeah, he could be uh, trying to set up that Zen mode. But so he can just go into Kegelder and Mock Punch and finish it off. He goes U-turn. Okay. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. So what does he go into? Uh, Gen oh, if he goes Gengar, or uh, that'd, that'd be, be a good play. If he goes Gengar, that's a good play. Uh, we still have Kegelder to deal with the Gengar, though. We just gotta play it really well. We just gotta play it really well. Um, I'm hoping he go. Ideally, he would go into the Hydreigon. <laughs> oh man, ideally he'd go into the Hydreigon. That would put us in such a good spot. Uh, he goes into the Gujo. This thing's gonna tank anything we throw at it. Uh, and we get paralyzed, of course. So, uh, Obstagoon is pretty much not useful. I'm gonna go for Facade for big damage. 
Oh, you're you're scarf. You gotta be scarf, right? Gotta be scarf. That's gotta be scarf. Okay. Um. That's gotta be scarf. Um. So Fakius. Yeah. Um. Well, we kind of need it for the hydro gun. Uh, I'm gonna go into Nancy. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna Dynamax set up for Aurora Veil and uh, get some things rolling. Uh, I could see the uh, Rosmoth coming out, but if it does, then we just max rock fall. I don't think he's gonna be expecting that uh, ancient power for the max rock fall. That's gonna be really really clutch on that Frosmoth. Oh, he stays in. Uh, I think he's thinking he's can, which he can probably tank it actually pretty well. But it's still gonna do some big damage. Plus, he's gonna get our Aurora Veil up, and it's gonna be nice. Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're gonna tank those all day, dude. <laughs> it's like what? Oh, I'm sure you calc it. Um, yeah, that doesn't do a, a lot of damage. I didn't expect it to. Let's get our Aurora Veil up, which is really nice. And um, I would love to go for a prediction here. But I don't think we're at, in a good spot to really go for that prediction. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the... Uh, uh, yeah. Good thing we didn't. Uh, the paralysis hurts. It sucks. Um, I'm glad we didn't see the melotic. That uh, this thing walls melotic all day long. Just to be honest with you. This thing's gonna eat up our G Max, but uh, that's okay. Cause we got a plan for his G Max. We got the Kinkel there. Go for another freeze draw. Um, I think this thing was meant to just take hits from this Lavras. Uh, and eat up my G Max is probably what, uh, is what I'm expecting it was for. Oh, uh, that's an a crit. That's a crit. That's a crit. Hundred percent a crit. <laughs> you can tell when something's a crit when you have uh, shields up. Okay, so we need one hit on this thing. Our Warville wears off, uh, but we should still be able to take this thing out. Lapis will go down, but uh, that's not the end of the world because uh, he didn't bring. Anything much that Lapras can do much against other than maybe the Frozmoth. The Frozmoth um, having that uh, ancient power for would have been nice, especially if it tried. Yeah. So if this thing tries to set up right here, which I think it might. Um, yeah, I'm going ancient power. Um, it's definitely going to try to set up, I feel like. Yeah. So hopefully we can do some big damage with this ancient power. I know it's got uh, shield dust, but uh, or I, oh no, oh no, that that's probably lost us the game. That's probably lost us the game. Okay, he's going for another one. Oh my god, please give me a crit. Oh my god, please give me a crit. I did nothing. We got the boost. Uh, but we can't survive. Anything it wants to go for. He's going for another one. He's going to sit all the way up. Just trying to stop this toxic effects for me able to do anything. I need a crit. Please. 
Hey, stop! <laughs> Does he have anything for toxic bags? Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> With anything, I mean, just anything. Hurricane. Uh, at plus six has a chance to kill isn't a guaranteed has a chance to kill Okay, um Haze, please. Uh please let Haze you can drain. Um this is just neutral? So we do survive it. We get the haze up. Big place, big place, big place. Big place, big place, okay. That was necessary. Uh what takes this thing out? What do we have on you? We have uh, what do you got on you? Um, I'm going into, um, major slash. for a sword sense. Ice Beam, what does that do to me? Age of Slash, Default Set, plus two attack, um, Iron Head, 252, kills. says it kills oh thank god this thing is out of here oh my god I'm so, that thing stressed me the fuck out <laughs> holy shit <laughs> Whew. he almost took it home dude he almost took it home oh my god shit Bar. Okay, um, that's four down. No, wait, he still has the he still has danger He still has danger um, What do you do at this point man you go into the Gengar Take me out for the max phantasm go into Kinkelder go for a knockoff win uh, Dandruff comes in Um there's no reason not to king shield unless he's expecting me to king shield and he's got a different plan there's no reason not to king shield why would i not king shield um what's this thing called what's this thing called what's this thing what is it called darmanitan darmanitan default set uh, it flare blitzes probably. I, I mean, he had to predict that, right? 
No, he goes for earthquake. Okay. Good play. Good play. I go for shadow sneak for damage. Oh, this is fire top Darmanitan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> A Dragon comes in. Okay. Um, this thing is scary as fuck. <laughs> I gotta go for Iron Head. I hope he just tries to take me out. Okay, cool. He just goes for the takedown. Um, we should be able to go into Cephala here and go for a multi attack. And that should be game. That should be game. Because can Gelder survives anything this Gengar wants to do? And knockoff kills a max Gengar. Now, if he's running Psychic on that Gengar, hold on. Gengar, the Psychic on it. And we max the Psychic. It's still not killing. It's still not killing. We win. Even with a special attack boost? Hold on. <laughs> hold on, will you? Oh, it's uh, it's very close. It's actually it's actually close. It's actually close. Um It's a roll. The 87% chance. Oh yeah, he's got spots up. Yeah. He got spikes up. Uh, I forgot about the spikes, dude. Oh no. If it wasn't plus one, man, we had it. GG, my dude. GG. That is a fucking close game. Holy shit. I mean, I gotta go for it, right? <laughs> there ain't no way to survive that, though. Freaking close. Freaking close. I didn't take any, um, any, uh, <laughs> I didn't take stuff down. <laughs> Let's get her league card here. Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> God. I know I could survive uh, a sidekick or a max mount. Uh, I could survive one. I knew. Uh, I forgot about the plus one. Um, I meant to have Aegis Slash alive there so I could swap him in. Swap him in. Um, hmm. Freaking good game, man. Um, instead of assault vest on Kinkeller, I kind of wish I would have run the berry that halves damage of psychic type moves. I think that would have won us the game. If we if we would have prepared, 
with that. If we would have brought that instead, that would have won us the game. Freaking, oh my God. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this hop ass battle. Uh, we barely fitted in the 20 minutes um, timer. So uh, show some love to JV. Holy shit, man. That uh, Gengar. Crazy. Uh, we kind of needed. Um, we kind of needed to have. Uh, Obsidian. Obsidian would have helped. Um, I don't know. I didn't. Foresee the U turn for some reason. I should have swapped out. I would have swapped out there into Tox Effects or something, tank that hit easily. Um, and then went into something better, you know. That would have been, I would put us in a much better situation. Um, because if we would have had, uh, Ops again. Oh. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? Are we recording this? Yeah, I got mine on record. All right, hold on, let me get mine. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. That was the best match ever, dude. Bro, that was a crazy match. That was a crazy match. Law for right. Bages slash. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, that but I made the only blunder that I see myself like that really fucked me up was like going out in term, to, into Darmanitan because I was I thought I could live one and I, try I to pop you could the Zen live a, a shadow sneak for sure. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shadow sneak and I can mock punch with King Kelder on the Zen mode, hoping, right? And then I was, I was like, whoa, what? what wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Should have just went out into High Dragon. I was I was I was being stupid. Uh, was you, uh, you was Specs High Dragon? No, I was actually Scarf, because I was expecting you Scarf. to bring Dracovish. And oh, I was yeah. going to outspeed you and hit you with a Draco Meteor, just in case if it, if it ever happened and came down to that. Right. Um, what do you think about the Defiant Obstagoon? <laughs> that shook me. I was like, wow, straight out the gate. Straight out the gate, plus two. <laughs> was it Ray Sharply or plus one or Ray plus Ray Sharply, two? and then you that lowered it by crazy. one, so it was plus one. That's crazy. All right, I'm just going to start my recording. So those like, we're just getting into a post-match interview with Wes after the match. Um, Cause you guys know some crazy shit went down. <laughs> and it was crazy. It was actually crazy. Oh my God. So did you, oh, you go ahead. Uh, what was you going to say? Did you um know I was running psychic on Gengar? Yeah. Yeah. I had a feeling. Um, that you would um i forgot about life orb though <laughs> oh yeah yeah because yeah. I, I didn't want to get choice into anything just in case i had to like switch up the moves right just in case. i meant to have aegis slash still alive when that gengar came out for those mind mm -hmm. games yeah because i didn't know what you wanted to do i thought for sure like like maybe you were gonna switch out when i brought darmanitan out possibly but then I, I didn't know if you're running shadow sneak or not because i was like you're running king shield and swords dance with Iron Head, so maybe he's running Shadow Claw and not Shadow Sneak, but then popped the Shadow Sneak, and I was like, damn it. I was running uh, Iron Head, and a Shadow Sneak kills a, uh, like if your Gengar's not maxed. Okay. Oh. So I didn't have to run Shadow Claw. Got you. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I just, I didn't know. Didn't know. I, I was guessing. And I'm surprised, really, because this is what I predicted your team to be. Dracovish, Toxapex, or Mew, Togekiss, Lapras, Conkelder, and either Obstagoon, Aegislash, or Galvantula. So, why did you choose not to bring Dracovish or Togekiss? Dracovish did not look good for your team. Just, uh, just. But, and then Togekiss, I had Togekiss on the. on, uh, like my mind. But mm -hmm. I swapped it out for Conkelder, because I felt Conkelder just done its job much better. And oh, you have definitely, super definitely. especially defensive Pokemon. Yo. And double <laughs> assault vests, all these assault vests stuff. Because... And I'm like, you know what? I'm running a physical fairy type Silvala. That's what I'm going to do. Why fairy? 
uh, for the Hydra gun. Because <laughs> I, I, I saw the fairy and I was like, okay, so maybe you predicted me to bring either Hydra gun, Komo'o, but you knew like probably for a fact I was going to bring Gudra. Yeah, I brought Gudra like every week. Gudra is tanky, dude. Bro, I ran, I ran max special defense because I didn't know if you were, because I know like in the meta for OU and whatnot, Gigant um, Gigantamax Lapras runs choice specs like max special attack and max hp those are like the so normal messed. thing but it looked like you were running a specially defensive set which caught yeah. me off guard dude i could tank I, like i was testing it and i could tank thunderbolts from rotom wash and just destroy that thing <laughs> and i'm like yes <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was crazy i did not expect and then when you popped the ancient power and got the boost that caught me off guard it too. was meant for like a max rock fall like if you had Frostmoth in like immediately when I G Max, which is kind of I kind of expected you to, um, mm -hmm. switch out Gudra for the um, because the I scales, you know, uh, yeah. Max Rock two Max Rock falls would have knocked it out. Um, after the Quaver Dance, that would have took three. Yeah, that that's why I brought special like fully on special defense assault vest Gudra just for Lapras and. Uh, what would you have done like, if I ran a physical Lapras though? <laughs> if you ran a physical Lapras, Dragon that's Dance GG. Lapras, dude. <laughs> like I almost did it. I almost did it. Cause this attack stat is actually pretty decent. It's the same as the special attack stat, but it learns yeah, Dragon I was like, Dance. Wow, I was looking at the stats for it. I was like, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. That would have, yeah, that would have definitely shook me up because, especially, <laughs> I gotta hand it to you for that ancient power. That was that was pretty good because I really did plan on um eventually walling out uh lapras with um frost moth because i wasn't sure but yeah. I, ancient power that's crazy that's good um and then toxapex it was a roll for um hurricane because i cowed that and then you went with those giga drain i'm like <sighs> yeah I've, i i like in the back of my mind i knew like i knew there was like a like a good percent chance that it was gonna tank it because it's a Toxapex. To not, nothing kills a Toxapex. I was at plus six and it took it to like, what? Like 25, 12 or hell. below percent. I was like, geez. Um, and it, that's that's a defensive Toxapex, not a special defensive Toxapex. That's cr That's just ridiculous. It's all that HP too. Yeah, he's, he's thick. <laughs> oh my God. And then the haze that I really thought you were just gonna let me sweep the game. I was like, "Are, are you are you okay? Are, what, what are you thinking?" And that haze, that oh god, that was crazy. Right. Yeah, um, that was a good move. But yeah, Obsidian was there to deal, which you had the spike, so it went. Uh, I was like, at this point, Obsidian can't do his job. What I should have mm -hmm. ran on Conkelder though is the berry that the berry halves that psychic damage. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, you probably would have eaten that. You definitely would have eaten that for sure. Cause were you running flame orb guts? No, I was running assault vest. Oh, even with oh shit. So you had special defense investment and assault vest, or just assault vest? Just assault vest, full HP, Jeez. full attack. Cause I knew if you were running special defense investment with assault vest, that Conkelder was gonna eat it for sure. So it was up in the air at that point, cause that. That would have been the game had it lived, but that that that, that was just crazy. Oh my god. <sighs> and then um, I I actually had a really weird move for Savala. I had payback on it. For the Gengar. Yeah. If the if the Gengar if I had like run out your uh, max and I needed to take it out with Savala, uh, payback uh, after you attack me because I can survive one sludge wave. Um, could really? actually. Um, would actually knock you out because it does doubles damage if the opponent attacks you first yeah and it's physical so that's definitely taking me out yeah <laughs> wow yeah the savali was the only thing that really i didn't expect you to bring i, I almost Everything didn't else. it was almost assault vest togekiss but like um or and then i decided to run both togekiss and savala and then i was like no because it's too much fairy uh, well, I, your fairy kind of rocks you. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy <laughs> and fighting actually rock me pretty well. I was really scared of that Conkelder for sure, because like I, the answers on I didn't really have an answer for it aside from, cause I almost literally I almost brought Orbeetle, but then when Pokemon Home dropped, I was like, okay, Orbeetle's off the table now because Knockoff is. Knockoff actually like, don't do much to it. Really? Even 
Wow, I expected it to. Cause I was gonna run a wacky set on Orbeetle. <laughs> That because I saw Joey Pokey aim run it and I was like, wow, that could actually help me the out. The blunder policy, no, the no, uh, not Wolfies, but oh. uh, Joe oh, Pokey oh, yeah. he ran Calm Mind, uh, Iron Defense, uh, Recover, and Stored Power. Yeah, but the only thing I would have had to kill Obstagoon off first to make sure that I could store power anything on your team. Um, I was expecting the quote fish lead. Uh, I wanted yeah. to do something different, but I ran out of time and I was just like, okay, off skin. Because <laughs> off skin yeah, was meant to, to be saved for later, but the spikes, after the spikes went up, it was too late. Um, yeah, I just, yeah. Because after I saw the Defiant, I was like, okay, it's okay that if Coolfish dies, because I, I saw no Dracovish or anything like that. So I was like, we can handle Conkelder with Gengar for sure. Um, but yeah, I just had to get a layer up because that's all I could do and T wave it in case just like in case because uh, actually if you were running a timid nature you speed tie with darmanitan so i just want to get that off the table as well right now i i did have um choice scarf on my ob skin oh wow um at one point and then i swapped it out for focus sash to make sure i could uh, if you ran sticky web make sure mm -hmm. i could hit the gengar and i switched oh. the focus sash last minute Ooh. If I had if I had twist scarf, oh, um, I would probably swapped out there because the thunder punch wouldn't have done. Well, I don't know thunder punch. How much would it have done too? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are you calculating it now? Yeah. At one point, I was like, "What is what is this thing called?" I couldn't remember what Darmanitan <laughs> was called. <laughs> I'm like, what is this thing's name? <laughs> Uh, Thunder Punch wouldn't doing much. Would it knock it to Zen? It would have done 52%. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really wanted to pop off the Zen mode, but it just wasn't. You should have had superpower on Darmanitan. Oh my god. Which yeah, I, I had super pan on superpower on Darmanitan, but I thought you wanted to preserve Obstagoon. So I went for a U-turn. But then, lo and behold, you didn't switch, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I should have just superpowered. Because I thought you were going to bring out um, Toxapex or somebody. Yeah. I wasn't sure. So, your Gudra outsped my. How fast is Gudra? Um, Gudra, I think it has pretty decent speed. Uh, like was he max speed? No, I wasn't running any speed investment. How the hell did you. Gujo's base speed is 80. Yeah, how did you ask me my Austin? Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know. Oh. Mm. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking, I was like, wait, you got paired when I switched in, not, but that was when I switched in, not after. What's your Gujo's speed? It's 80. In game, my Austin is 317. Oh, let me hold, hold up. Let me check. What? Um, let me look. Let me, let me see. Is that not what happened? Uh, I have. Guja's speed is 196 at level 100. Okay, I'm and running I, Jolly Obsidian. And I have 317 no, speed. Yeah. I didn't run oh, any speed. I was max special defense, max HP with the rest and special attack. I feel like Facade would have knocked you out. Facade probably would have knocked me out because Guja's defenses are trash. Was I paralyzed? I was paralyzed, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. Yeah. Oh, you forgot about the paralysis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were paralyzed. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely outspeed at that point. Yeah, I was definitely scared of the speed on that thing. Yeah, I, I spent so long trying to find a freaking hidden ability off soon. <laughs> I really didn't expect you. <laughs> I, that was crazy. That, that was like hands down when I opened the match. I was like, oh shit, we might lose. <laughs> yeah, plus, I was like, oh jeez, defiant. Obsidian. I knew the cool fish was coming. I knew it was you. I knew it was drafted specifically to deal with physical threats because you were very special defensive, and I yeah, had a lot of I, physical yeah. threats. And I didn't. I really didn't have a physical uh, defensive like answer 
for Conkelder, but Coolfish has good d defense and it also like resists fighting type moves. So I was like, gotta go Coolfish. <laughs> There's no really no other answer. Oh, dang, that was crazy. You run Defiant. I did not expect that at all. Good plays. Oh. All right, dude. Well, con congratulations on your win. I'll be gunning for you for playoffs. Hey, I and uh, <laughs> you, you're uh, <laughs> you're uh, the um, the Raladon might be uh, coming back to haunt you. Uh, maybe because I saw you picked it up, <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, there's really nothing that I can do with the Raladon because it's like in an awkward. It's like not good enough to be like. OU or whatever, but like it's like BL between OU and UU because it's a like special attack. If you ran specs on it, like it's doing a lot of damage, but its speed stat isn't all that. And its defense is defense is high, special defense is the thing I was worried about, right? But, but... That's, that's the luck for that to you because he gets he gets a decent solid move pool. But if they elaborated it on it a little bit more, it would be a bit better. He needs flamethrower, yeah, that's exactly yeah, flamethrower. Uh, it drives really... me crazy. Why does this boy not got flamethrower? If it had flamethrower, it would be a different story. I probably wouldn't have dropped him at all. But what it's just I... like, it gets Thunderbolt, <laughs> Flash Cannon, and Steel Beam, Draco Meteor, and gets Stealth Rock and T-Wave, which is cool, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. What if I run uh, Agility Baton Pass Mew to it? <laughs> I mean, then it's then it's a problem. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to uh, go stream, I guess. All right, man. GG's. Have a good stream. GG, man. See you later. Bye. Dudes. All right. I'm glad we did that. I'm going to start doing that more often, I think. Um, definitely want to do it for this match because holy shit, that was incredible. Um, but yeah, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful night. I love you guys. Bye-bye.